Hello, this is Lucas, and in this video, I'm going to be going over sliders in JavaFX. So, to start off, uh, I have this load method here that's being called uh, in our uh, main uh, start method of our JavaFX application. So, what's going to happen is uh, all of our uh, code is going to be written in here, but you must just know beforehand, I have set everything, uh, all the other properties up beforehand. Okay, and then our root uh, layout is a VBox that's uh, global, so this med will be able to use it without the need to pass it in as a parameter. Okay, so let's get started. So first off, I'm going to create a label, uh, and we're going to just give it a name label, and this is going to be used to display uh, what value our slider uh, has. Okay, so just like that. So to start off, it'll be zero. And then we can create our slider then. So we'll do a slider, we'll give it a name of slider, equal this to a new slider, just like that. Uh, now we have uh, three properties uh, that it must have. Well, two really, but we'll do a slider.setMin. So this is the minimum uh, value that our slider can hold. So when it's when the slider is to the very left, uh, that number will be zero. And then we also need the max, so we'll do a set max. And let, we'll do this as a hundred. So our slider, if it's uh, if it's at the very start, it'll be zero. And if it's at the very end, it'll be 100. So it can only have a value between zero to 100. Uh, then there is another value or another property that we can uh, add. We don't need this, but we can add it in, and it's a uh, set value. So where do we want our slider to start once we once the uh, project opens? So we'll just set that as zero. We want it to start as zero. Uh, then, there's, uh, then there's three more things we, we need to add. Uh, I'm not gonna add them in now, but we'll add them in a bit later. Uh, but all we have to do now is we need to do root dot uh, get children dot add and we can add in our uh, slider uh, just to say again root is my uh, main layout so it's it's a vbox so you can see I have root and I have set it as the main scene for our application so that's what root is uh, so yeah uh, we can also actually add let's add all because I also want to add in the label that we have created uh, over here. So now once we run this, you'll see that we get uh, this slider, uh, but it doesn't actually do anything. You can see that this value does not change. We want this value to change. Okay, so we are going to add in a listener or an event handler, let's say. So we'll call the slider that we have created and we'll do a dot value property. Okay. And then once we get a value property, we'll do a dot add a listener. Uh, do this one. And then in here, right, uh, we need to remove null. We actually, we don't need null, but what we do need is we need to do, uh, so firstly, we will just press enter here, just to make it look a bit better. Then we'll do a new uh, change listener. And then we will give it a value, which for us will just be number. And then we'll do that. And then in here is where our method will go. Right inside of here. Uh, let's make this look a bit better, just like that. So this is the event handler right here. And inside of here is where we are going to call our method. So we can just create a normal method. Uh, so we can do something like, we'll do public void changed. So our value has changed. In here, we need to pass in a few things. So we need to pass in a observable value. Uh, you then do this, and then we do extends number, because that's the value that we have placed in here. So uh, num uh, number, and then in, so I'm just looking, then we also need to add in uh, observable so observable 
we need a number of old value and then we need another number of the new value okay uh, then once this is done uh, that is that me that's that metal created and we can uh, write all of our code once the slider has changed value we will write uh, the code that what will happen in here so all we need to do in here is we just want to update the label that we have set so what we'll do is label dot uh, set text and the text that we want to set is I'm just gonna do a like value and we are going to give it a the new value so the new value so this is what uh, a new number let's change it to new value so uh, just to explain these two numbers are the most uh, the more important ones uh, once once um, once we change uh, the slider so once we move it uh, let's say we move it from 1 to 10 uh, the old value is 1 and then the new value is 10 so all we're doing here is we are just displaying the new value so if we run this you can see that once I start moving this this value gets changed okay and you can see that in our code we have set the minimum to 0 so if it's the smallest value it's 0 and then the max value, if you go to the very end, is 100. So it won't go below 0 and it won't go below 100. And you can see that we have set uh, the value. So whenever we uh, run this, you can see that by default, the value is at 0. Now there's uh, three other things that I want to uh, add to, to this. So the first one is slider.setShow uh, tick labels and will do true. And if you run this, what you'll see is we are given uh, values here All right, so, so it's just it's a way to display uh, the tick labels so uh, our slider is from 0 to 100 so uh, by default it will just um, it will just separate the values by default but we can actually set these so what we can do is you can do a slider dot uh, set major tick unit and let's say instead of uh, instead of us or instead of the code doing it by default we can set it ourselves so if i want to do 10 for example then we run this you can see that now our slider is separated into uh, 10 chunks you can change this to anything you want we can do something like uh, 25 for example run this and then uh, yeah it's separated as 25 and then the very very last thing that i want to go over is the slider dot set show uh, tick marks and we can set this as true as well and what this does is in between the labels that we had before we have these just uh, it's just another way to uh, separate uh, every value so you can see that we have 50 but then we also have uh, these smaller value values as well so that is about it for this video on sliders hope this video helped hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one peace out